Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another collection video from the Serie A wing of my collection. We'll be talking about the 1920 Elas Verona home jersey, which we'll talk uh, towards the end of the video was the first home jersey when they made it back, uh, I think through the playoffs from Serie B. Um, the jersey itself was part of an order from Sport by the story how I got it was egg is egg actually quite quite a funny one because I was sitting right here in my office I had my um I had uh, the game between Elas Verona and Milan in early spring uh, 21 on it was a 2-0 win for Milan uh, I think Krunic scored a free kick goal and I remember just, just, just at that point, you know, I had been, uh, I think at that time, four years prior to that, I had been to Verona. I saw the store, but you know, it was a trip I did with with, with, with my wife, and I was uh, determined because we were also going to Florence to um, get a Fiorentina shirt, and so I decided to not wear the one that I got, but wear a Fiorentina shirt. Um, uh, to be frank. That particular Verona shirt was not 100% to my liking, which was another reason why I didn't really push for it at that time. In any case, uh, an Ella shirt was always on my radar. And it was so funny. I was just watching this game and I said, okay, let's check. It's really hard to get Verona shirt. And suddenly, boop, 20 euros at a site called Spa in Germany. Is this real? Is this real? And I saw not only that they had, they had all the Elas Verona kits from 1920, this was in 2021 season. They seemingly just had a drop there, a Macron drop there. And also they had Bologna, they had had even Lazio. They had a really cool selection. It's very in pri 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 prices, but I got the, this uh, Elas Verona shirt, the Bologna shirt that I already made a video, and also the Elas Verona uh, third jersey, which I really loved all for uh, 20 euros and I remember even going going, 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 going to, to my wife for me it was clear I will get one Verona shirt and I will get one uh, Bologna shirt because I needed both teams but then you know if you get the third shirt for Verona is this really I want to get a home shirt too and then I said okay let's add this home shirt too and voila here 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 it is it is not the better one of the two it gotta be said but I'm happy that I have this home uh, jersey I would say we look a little bit at the detail because there's a quite some nice details in here. First off, this is a double XL, which if you know Macron, Macron is uh, kind of a tight fitting. And at that time, I already knew that fortune, so I ordered it in a double XL. Um, and it is the last season, 1920, where they were using the old uh, crest that was introduced in the mid-90s, only to reduce it, like they did on the third shirt, to the Mastiff logo with the uh, ladder, which goes back to the Scalieri family, which was the ruling family in Verona, uh, up there, which incidentally was kind of the main figure of the previous logo. Uh, so yeah, they kind of went old school. This logo, I actually in many ways really liked, but it also always confused the heck out of me because for me, it always seems like that Elas Verona should not be playing in blue, but actually in uh, yellow and blue stripes. And they did so for a good while in the 90s and also in the 2000s. So that's why I was so a little bit, I don't want to say turned, uh, turned off, but in, in a way a little bit, uh, it was weird to me that when I was at the Ellis store in 17, that they had a blue jersey with yellow. That didn't make much sense to me. It was a, a run around the wheel um, Nike shirt. But no, the traditional colors of, Verona, of Ellis Verona are of course blue with a little bit of yellow as is in the shield for the city of Verona, which is blue with a yellow cross uh it has a variant i think this is kind of a reference back to the um, um 80s kind of a little bit of shadow stripe pattern in, in there because it's two tones of blue which honestly when i first saw it was not was kind of a little bit yeah do we really need this but i have have to say there's a certain class to it other than that it's rather simple it has the yellow sleeve because it has a yellow color but the yellow color has has, has another it looks weird uh, look a little bit closer. This 
Dent is of course a V for Verona. So I really like this little touch and the V is really perfectly cut into. I think it's a really, really nice touch. Then, um, you know, it is of course Macron, so it has a slightly stretchy material, but not kappa like but it is, it, 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 it is also solid material. It was of course an original. There is on the back some ventilation. There is of course also, oops, getting it a little bit bent out of shape. Uh, Verona kind of printed in on the back side. Uh, it's also the old style, uh, no, it's the new style Macron. This was the first season that the Macron were using the new um, logo as well, kind of a simplified version. In terms of ventilation, there, there are only some laser cut holes under the arms. I'm not sure if you can see those. Let me put my hand in, then I think they will become a bit more visible, the laser cut holes, but uh, there's really only a little bit of ventilation patch under the arms. That is it. And of course, as I said, the back is also uh, is typically uh, more vent ventilated than the front, but other than that, it's a rather simple jersey. But yeah, it also in league play, the here I got all the Air Dolomiti sponsor. This is also when I did my jersey review, um, it only had that. Um, it, they, they became uh, the Synergy sponsor was them down, down below, so kind of a double sponsor. Um, I find the small sponsor kind of intriguing and sweet, but you know, maybe with full sponsors it would have been a little bit better. But hey, I got it for 20, 20 bucks, so no complaints. As for the team itself, they were promoted and many said they will go down again because they went through the playoffs. However, under Ivan Juric, they actually took Serie A by storm and finished a very credible ninth place, uh, ninth place, which kind of, you know, for a small team like Ellas Verona, it was really, really good and started actually a very successful period. And unfortunately, as I'm shooting this, this video, Verona are in danger of going down again. So that's maybe the only thing. But other than that, I am so pleased to have this jersey. Uh, yes, I like the third jersey better, the white one. But this one is a really classy Ellas Verona home jersey. And I also love that it has the old logo. So what do you think about this jersey? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!